Hi, my name is Marty. I work with Salon Republic. I'm in Studio 1A, and today I'm going to give you some tips for coloring gray hair. The main thing you need to remember with coloring gray hair is that from the time that a client comes in until the next four weeks that she comes in, it's possible she will have more gray hair. So you need to keep very accurate records as to what you've used the previous time. So if they've got more gray hair in four weeks, that you can adjust that formula accordingly. You will also have some um, resistant gray hair in your career as a hairdresser, so knowing how to take care of that is important. Um, Pre-softening with 20 volume developer is a nice tip for coloring gray hair. You'll actually take 20 volume developer straight out of the bottle into a tint bowl and apply the developer straight to your gray hair. You will process that for 15 minutes and then you will take a towel and dab off that developer and apply your gray color formulation right over top of it. You're pre-softening the gray hair so it takes color better. There's also a misconception that you're always going to use 20 volume with gray hair coverage and that's not always the case. When you're dealing with um, medium brown or darker to black hair colors, you do not need to use a 20 volume developer. You can actually use a 10 volume developer and actually let the color cover the gray hair. Don't let the oxidative process of mixing a 20 volume developer with a tube of color to over stimulate that hair so that the hair color actually will not grab. So using a 10 volume is a good tip for coloring gray hair. The final tip for coloring gray hair, almost every single color line, Artie's color is what I use, they have a gray color formula in the tube where it's actually meant for gray hair. There is, more there is more ammonia and there's also more pigment to give you better coverage. My name is Marty and those are some tips for coloring gray hair.